Entitlement reaches all walks of life, as you'll find out in this episode of Entitled People. Our first one is from Chloe Draws Stuff, titled, My Cousin Believes I Should Apologize When She Hit Me. I have a very large family, and we are all very close. My auntie would come over a lot, as she lived a street away from us. Just take note that I was very geeky, and I knew a lot of stuff. I was in advanced student programs for most of primary school. My cousin would come over with my aunt. She was extremely violent, and the entire family hated them. You'll see why in a moment. You know the keys. Mum, my savior, entitled cousin, aunt, and me. My cousin and auntie comes over. I'm upstairs playing in my room with my sister, because I shared a room with her. I was playing with the new Monster High doll at the time. She came up the stairs and said hi. Me and my cousin played with the dolls for like 10 minutes. After that, it went like this. Do you want to go slide down the stairs? Yes, that's more fun than playing with dolls. We did that for a bit, and then we talked for a bit. I brought up an interesting fact. Did you know that your stomach acid is one of the most corrosive acids? If it actually was, wouldn't it burn through your stomach? <laughs> You're wrong. No, it actually is. It doesn't burn through our stomach because she punched me. It was not hard enough so that I'd fly down the stairs though. At the time, I was about 170 centimeters, 5 foot 5, just taller than her. I was 10. I stumbled a bit. I punched back, of course. It was very weak because I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to get in trouble. She proceeded to pinch me very hard and then scratch me, peeling away just enough layers of skin to draw blood. Mind you, this wasn't a small scratch. This went from my hand to my elbow. I had enough of this and straight up slapped her to get her to stop. She then had the audacity to cry to my aunt. You hurt me, OP. I think I need an apology or I'll tell your mom. You owe me an apology. You hit me first. But you left a bruise. She showed me her arm. Literally nothing was there. I was confused. There's nothing there. You left a flipping scratch mark on my arm and it's bleeding. Auntie. Referring to my mom. OP hit me and she ain't apologizing. My mom walks up the staircase because she heard the commotion and my cousin rushed to tell her about how I attacked her after being wrong in an argument. My mom knew she wasn't telling the truth just because of her tone. This is what happens when your kids lie a lot and ask me what happened. I told her my part and my cousin kept intervening and twisting the story. My mom didn't really get mad at me, but my aunt believed my cousin. My aunt kept trying to get me to apologize, so my cousin would stop crying. You know what I did? I didn't apologize, because I knew damn well I was right. This went on for like 5 minutes, and then my auntie gave up. They left. I have some more stories about my cousin and my aunt, but this is the story that's the most iconic to me. Feel free to point out some of my mistakes in formatting because I'm pretty new to posting on Reddit. Edit, yes, I know I am a giraffe. I am abnormally tall in my family. I am an early bloomer and for me, puberty started at about 11. And I'm actually Australian. And we use meters and centimeters. I had to use good old Google to convert. Sorry if it's off. Edit too. I really don't blame any of you for doubting my height. I was and am way taller than I should be at my age. I could never understand people that want to put their hands on others and then complain when people put their hands back on them. It's like honestly respect people's bubble and respect people's space. If you don't want to get hit, don't hit other people. And if you hit somebody else, don't go crying playing the victim. And our final one is from Where's the Fire titled Entitled Relative Gets Destroyed by My Mother. As with most Asian families, my family believes having a white collar job is above anything. This is very evident with a couple of relatives and force their children to go to medical school. Any career other than a doctor is a sin in their eyes. My mother is open minded about my choice of career. 
The only condition she had was I should have at least a bachelor degree before getting a job. So I started working in the IT industry after college graduation. I have decent pay, able to learn and experiment in my own pace and even got an opportunity to work abroad. I was happy with my career. Things weren't easy at first as with all jobs. I struggled to settle down with the workload and the new city. I reached out to my family to help me to find a job nearby my home. So my entitled relatives got a hold of this piece of news during a family gathering. Instead of helping me out, they scoffed and told my younger cousins at large, See, this is why you shouldn't be an engineer. You're going to struggle and end up with nothing. After all, doctor is the most respectable job in the society. I blinked at her. I was shocked she could just insult my career in front of everyone. I was also disgusted at her because she's a teacher and I expected her to know better. I didn't want to make a scene, so I didn't talk back, but someone else did. My mother. My mother is a single parent. She was a brilliant student at school and dreamt of being a teacher, but that was all gone when she was married off. She regretted that when she was divorced and struggled to live. She wanted her daughters not to go through the same thing. She sold her jewelry and spent savings to get us decent education so that we could get a job. She was furious when someone insulted our hard work. She didn't hold back her anger as she thundered. Are you out of your damn mind entitled relative? You're a teacher. Can't you show a bit of dignity while you speak? Don't you have common sense to think that your daughter couldn't work in a hospital with electricity, running water, machines, or software if there were no engineers? Even a janitor at the hospital have their value. If you ever insult my daughter or her choices, you will see the worst of me. The room was very silent as everyone watched the entitled relative process what was going on. Nobody had ever seen my mother that mad. But it did a good thing. The relatives never raised a word about her children's or my career after that. Also, two of my cousins got into engineering stream following the incident. <laughs> I look at it like if you're doing something you enjoy and you're not being a leech to society, what right does anybody have to question what you're doing? Especially if you're not asking them for help, you're not asking them for assistance, yet they still have no issues bashing what you're choosing to do as a career. Alright, that's enough Entitled People for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Entitled People. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell. It really helps my channel out. And drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.